Alright folks, I want to spend a few minutes here going through my first aid kit that I keep in my car. Um, this kit, the last time I checked it was about a year ago, and uh, I've used it a number of times since then. But uh, we keep a first aid kit in each vehicle, and then we keep a first aid kit, a portable first aid kit like this in a house. And then we have some other uh, medical supplies that are stored like in a closet, like a storage closet or something like that. But uh, anyhow, what I want to do is just go through the car kit, see if you guys have any ideas, recommendations, comments, anything I should add, anything I should remove. Um, feedback is welcome as long as it's constructive. And uh, so we're going to get ready and we're going to go ahead through this. Uh, one of the things I do think is I am actually going to buy a new bag. So I bought this bag about a year ago and I transferred my old first aid kit into this first aid kit because this bag was larger and the old one had outgrown it. If you take a look at it, like there's some openings here that just don't seal up. And uh, I don't like that. I'm afraid something will fall out. Not that it will. This sits in the back of the car and uh, rarely gets minimal use only if I'm out hiking or camping or, or driving around or something like that and somebody needs some first aid. It does have a shoulder strap the, that never gets used. And it has two buckles on the front here. And then some Velcro that holds it shut. So, um, Anyhow, that's the inside. We're going to walk through it and uh, talk about it. All right, so here we're going to get we're going to get started talking about some of the contents. But before we do, I know a lot of people are always curious as uh, if I'm having a beverage or not. And so this is some of my home brew. It's a Williams Warren uh, Lager kit that I put together, and uh, enjoying it quite a bit. So I'm going to be sipping on this as we go. All right, so first we're just going to go through these front two pouches, pockets, and uh, see what we got. So first thing I have in here is some uh, bug spray, some uh, some deep based repel, and I try to keep that in all my kits, uh, in both cars, and that's really just because nothing can spoil your fun like uh, getting attacked by gnats or mosquitoes. And then uh, this is one of those pretty crappy space blankets. I probably should look at replacing this with something other than this. And then uh, some afterbite. I've had to use this quite a bit. It works pretty well if you get stung by a bee or something like that. Uh, that's typically what this gets used for. So, you know, when we're out running around somebody, uh, it usually seems to happen a couple times a year, somebody gets stung. And then I have uh, some 30 SPF. Uh, what is this called stuff? Because it's not sunscreen, so sun protectant, something like that. Um, sunblock. Anyhow, so I keep this in here because you could be out and uh, you could be sensitive to the sun and you know, you might need some of that. Pretty self-explanatory. Oh, here's this stuff's great. This is just some uh, triple antibiotic ointment. And uh, this gets used all the time. Everybody's always getting some kind of cut or something, some kind of scrape. And uh, we use this on just about everything. All right, that's it for that pouch. And then in this pouch, if I remember correctly, I try to keep gauze. And so what we just have here is just a various couple different types of gauze and a couple different types of uh, sizes. Here's a 4x4. Four and then some other stuff thrown in here, some ibuprofen, <laughs> buffalo wild wings, uh, wipes, and this is some sort of uh, some sort of cleaning uh, disinfectant towelette. So, okay, I'm gonna get this stuff back in here, and then we're gonna be right back. All right, let's go through the side pocket and see what we have in here. I uh, really have no idea what to expect. Well, would you look at that? There's nothing in there. So that was a that was an easy one, huh? Let's take a look in this side pocket and see what we got. <laughs> Would you look at that? There's nothing in there either. Alright, so let's just go through the main compartment real quick and see what we have. Rubbing alcohol, it seems to make sense, right? You may need to clean or disinfect something. Uh, a little hydrogen peroxide, same thing, you might need to clean or disinfect something. This is a little bit better than the last one. Uh, so I have one of these uh, survival blankets. I guess this is in case somebody's in shock or needs to warm up for any kind of reason. But uh, that's in there, and that's a little bit better than this this jive one we talked about earlier. And then uh, so the, what we got here looks to be like a quick clot sport. It's a five by five and a fifty gram bag, so it's a little bit bigger. And then uh, here's a smaller one. This is a quick clot first response. This looks to be a three and a half by three and a half. Uh, 25 gram uh, mesh bag x-ray detectable how about that so it's about half the size of the other one here's a little uh, paper tape 
can't go wrong with that. That works great for putting on galls on cuts and scrapes. And then uh, what we have here is some stuff from Passport Health. I guess this just got thrown in here. These are actually uh, malaria tablets. And uh, I got those when I was traveling to the Philippines. I'm not sure why they're in there. But, uh, but they are nonetheless. So if you uh, need to worry about malaria, give me a call. I can help you out. And then uh, this would be uh, burn dressing. Pretty self-explanatory, right? Uh, these come in handy all the time. These are uh, instant cold packs. So you squeeze them together, and then uh, they get cold real quick. I picked up a box of like 25 of these off of Amazon, and uh, these get used a lot. Where somebody bumped their head, bumped their knee, bumped their elbow. The kids uh, seem to like them quite a bit. Here's another one. I think that this is something that uh, came with an order that I made, and it looks like it's one of these uh, CPR first aid masks. I probably wouldn't use that. I don't know. No, I don't know how to, so I, I don't think I would. A pair of shears. All right, that's that one side. Let's take a look at this one. Um, this has been used a couple times. This is just hurt-free antiseptic wash scrapes. Uh, usually is what that gets used for. Somebody skins their knee or something. Uh, some more gauze pads just in case. I need more than what's in there. Larger size band aids, again for scrapes, uh, elbows and knees and stuff like that. Uh, Secure Flex Wrap. This is somewhere in between gauze and an ace bandage. And uh, I have a couple of these in a couple different kits, and we've used it from time to time. Looks like I've got an ace bandage in there. Tourniquet. Don't want to ever have to worry about using one of these things. And then here's a variety pack of band-aids. Looks like I got two variety packs, or maybe these are just waterproof band-aids. That's what it looks like. Another uh, ace bandage, a little bit of a smaller one. And then uh, looks like we got some more tape, some used band-aids, some more tape. Can never have enough tape. This looks like it broke. That's going to go in the trash. Looks like it's a antiseptic, like a betadine or something like that. Go ahead and get rid of that. Anyhow, that's it. That's the uh, car first aid kit. I think it's pretty good. Um, there's some stuff that I could obviously put in there. Some things like some maybe uh, ibuprofen, maybe some uh, Imodium, and uh, some Benadryl, something like that. And then there's really some questions around, could there be some more trauma-type supplies in here? Um, I don't know. Anyhow, if you got any thoughts, let me know. Uh, any comments or anything like that's appreciated. Thanks, everybody.